Would it? Maybe I should say it again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and I do all things makeup related. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me question and answer thing. I asked my followers on Instagram to send me some questions. So I'm going to be answering a couple of those as well as just some general get to know me questions. So I know that we are in quarantine. So what am I get getting ready for? not going outside. I am actually trying to film an intro video, which if you don't know, if you go to someone's YouTube page and you're not subscribed to them, there's like a little intro video thing. So I'm going to be recording that after I'm done recording this. So if you are not subscribed, go check out that video and then subscribe to my channel. First, I'm going to be going in with some primer. And the first question, what made you decide to do YouTube? Which is, I think, a really good question. I have kind of always wanted to do YouTube, not necessarily for beauty. I wanted to do like a gaming channel, mostly with The Sims. So I just, I don't know, I never had the equipment for it or the means to create a gaming channel and I had kind of started to grow my makeup collection and really my interest in makeup and I really wanted a reason to do crazier more creative looks rather than just doing it on my face and not having anywhere to share it so I created an Instagram back in November 2019 and then from there I just I, I really wanted to create a YouTube channel so that is why I decided to do it. I had watched a lot of other YouTubers that did like my analytics and like talking about how to grow on YouTube and their biggest advice was to first of all like if you are thinking about starting a channel just do it. So that's when I was kind of like okay I'll do that. So the next question is what is the meaning of my name? Obviously my name is Michelle as I already said. My older siblings got to name me and since I was born in the 90s, they decided to name me Michelle from Michelle Tanner off of Full House, which is pretty cool. But um, the spelling of my name is different from pretty much any other Michelle. I only have one L in my name. And that reason is because my parents had a song that taught my older siblings how to spell their name and two L's did not fit. So I'm cursed with one, which can actually be kind of annoying because sometimes I work with international people. And if you have one L in Michelle, it usually means that you are an Italian or French man, which I am not. So people get really confused. And I even had some guy kind of like get mad at me for not being a man that he thought he was communicating with. It was, yeah, it was something else. So the next question is when and how did your makeup journey start? So like I said, I did start an Instagram um, last November and I think it was maybe around like 2016 when I really started watching more beauty YouTubers and just kind of watching them how they apply makeup but I hadn't really bought any myself. I think that wasn't until maybe like the summer or spring of 2019, 2018, I can't remember, but I had bought the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette and that was really the first palette I had ever bought for myself and just for fun to kind of be more creative with makeup. The next question is what are some of my hobbies? So I really enjoy reading which is kind of why I do those book look videos which if you don't know what they are those are videos where I just review a book while I do my makeup. I'm also a writer so I typically write short stories, um, usually in the fantasy genre and obviously do makeup and YouTube. But other than that, I'm pretty boring. I like to just watch Netflix, Hulu, things like that. Sometimes I do um, games, so I play Sims and I play, I have a VR headset, so I'll play some games on that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I do. The next question is, did you go to college? And if so, what did you study? So I did go to college, I went to a four year college. I was double majoring in English and creative writing. And then I also had a minor in religion. So I did just kind of want to use my love for makeup and my love for books and writing to do that book look series and hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like that series or what I can do to work on that series a little bit more. The next question is what are my top three favorite YouTubers? And that one is very hard to answer. I don't know. I would say 
I watch a lot of Raw Beauty Christy, and if you don't know who she is, go freaking watch her. She's amazing. She's very real and raw, I guess, <laughs> but she's so funny, and she just, I don't know, she's just such a real person, and it's just so, like, calming and relaxing just listening to her talk and watching her videos. So I would definitely go check her out. I also really enjoy Alexandria Ryan. She does um, subscription box unboxings. And she and I, I just feel like she's kind of the reason I started my channel too, just because I feel like she and I are just very similar people and would probably have like similar senses of humor and editing styles. So because she could do it, I was like, well, I'm gonna start my own and see if I can be as successful as her. So I really enjoy watching her unboxing. She's very entertaining. But then I guess um, aside from that, it would be probably Shane Dawson. Just, I love all of his conspiracy um, videos, like his older ones too. Um, and I really do like the series that he, the multiple series that he has had with Jeffree Star. I just think that they're very informative and entertaining and especially when he started getting more into the makeup world and realm i just thought that was so cool so the next question is what is my favorite season and i definitely have to say it is fall i love the colder weather of fall i i love when like the leaves change and the colors and just any time that i can be in a sweater or a hoodie and not like be sweaty and just be completely comfortable. That is the ideal temperature for me. And then I also like fall because that is when Halloween is. And that is probably one of my favorite um, seasons, not seasons, holidays. One of my favorite holidays because I really like watching scary movies and I just love, I don't know, all the movies that come out and all of the like kids Halloween movies. They're just, I don't know, there's something about that holiday that just makes me happy. I love all things spooky, all things scary, all decorations, costumes. Oh, I just love it so much. All right, the next question is what are your everyday, your current everyday makeup faves? And I've used actually most of them in this video, but I definitely would say for primer, it is this Milani Prime Light. Um, it's just very luminous and just brings like a certain glow to my skin. I have dry skin, so that's just not normally something I have. Um, so this is definitely good for that. As well as the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, which I use today as well. It just has like, I feel really good matching shade for my skin tone and it just has like the coverage and the dewy finish that I prefer. And then with concealer, I usually go in with this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It's pretty full coverage and they have a good shade range. It lasts long. It does crease a little, which is fine. I just need to figure out how to apply my makeup better so as to not make that happen. But I would definitely say that that is really good concealer. For my brows, I usually go in with this IT Cosmetics Brow Power. It's in the shade Universal Taupe, which, I mean, it works for me because I have red eyebrows, um, but for other people, it just depends on your shade of hair color. It's really up to you, whichever ones you want to use. I guess for blush, I really like this Bare Minerals one. I've had this for a really long time. I'm pretty sure it's probably expired but this one is just it's such a pretty shade and it's kind of sparkly too so it kind of adds like a little highlight and glimmer to it which I just love glittery and glimmer and shimmer and all of that fun stuff so this is definitely a really good blush so I'll maybe look into these products as for eyeshadow I do like Jeffree Star but I know that that could be pretty expensive so I am going in with this Milani Gilded Nude palette and just seeing if I can make an eye look out of this it does have nude colors and they are pretty soft when it comes to mascara i really enjoy i think it's maybelline illegal length that's what i've used like all throughout high school and most of my college career that one it just it doesn't clump up your eyelashes and it makes them longer but doesn't really give them much volume so if you're looking for volume i wouldn't go with that one but that's definitely my go-to favorite mascara. And then if we're talking about lipstick, I 100% recommend this Maybelline Super Stay. We've got the matte lipstick and then we also have this ink crayon. And the ink crayon is nice because it comes off pretty easily when you're removing it, but it does stay like throughout the day and doesn't really transfer much. 
It's very easy to glide on and they have really gorgeous colors. They actually have something on their website where you can test out the colors on like a picture of you. It's really cool. And then this one, I just love this liquid lipstick formula. It does, uh, it is kind of difficult to take off sometimes, but I just love their colors, their shades, all of that stuff. This is just definitely my favorite. The next question is what is your favorite job you've had? And I've had actually quite a few pretty cool jobs, but the one that I just freaking loved every minute of it was when I was an intern in New York City, which doesn't sound like it should be your favorite, but it definitely was. I worked for Scholastic Book Clubs as one of their interns, and I literally loved every single day of work. I, a lot of the time, it was considered work just to read, and that to me is the dream. So I would definitely say that that was by far my favorite uh, job. I only had it for about three months, I think it was, but that was really cool. It was kind of like a study abroad internship that I took in college. So I spent the fall in New York City and lived there and just had the best experience. I absolutely love New York City. I would definitely think about moving back there again at some point, but right now it's just, well, right now during the quarantine, I don't want to move there, but it's just really expensive. So I don't think I'll be moving there anytime soon. So the next question kind of ties into that is where do I live now? And I actually live in Illinois, born and raised here. Like I said, I did live a little for a little while in New York City. And then I also studied abroad in Ireland in college. So I kind of lived there again for three months. And then again, that goes into the next question, which is where is your favorite place that you've ever visited? And it is 100% Ireland. I've been to really, I've been to a bunch of other really, really cool places and just like travel the world, just, oh, just do it. Just do it, save up the money to travel the world because you just learn so much and you have such a great time learning about other cultures and how life happens in these other countries. So it's oh, definitely do that. But Ireland is definitely my favorite. Obviously I'm, my nationality is a bit Irish. So it's so gorgeous, they're so green. All of their sheep that they have in the fields, oh, it's just, Definitely by far my favorite place. The last question I have today is what are my favorite colors to use for an eye look? And uh, I used to always do more like browns, neutrals, and reds and pinks because it just brings out the color of my eyes more, I think. But, but recently I have really been into blue. I do have the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette and that has just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You can do so many different looks with blue eyeshadow. I love it so much. And then I've also actually really been into purple eye looks as well. I do have the Jeffree Star Bloodless palette. And I know that like, again, I say I have a lot of Jeffree Star products, which are pretty expensive. So if you want something, I would probably go with more of the ColourPop palettes. I don't have any of those. So I don't, I can't like recommend from my experience but from everyone else that I've seen and heard and who've used them they absolutely love them and they're a lot cheaper and and pretty much have similar color stories so if you want to try out like a blue look or a purple look I would definitely recommend doing it because they just I don't know they're so fun to work with and they create really pretty I looks. So that's actually all of the questions that I have today. So I didn't actually get through the whole makeup process, but that's fine. I'll just do that off camera. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. And I do actually have a couple like honorable mentions because I did the kind of like ask me a question thing on Instagram. And I don't know if you've ever done that on your story, but if you don't have a private account, just random people can answer it, which is sometimes good, but I got a lot of spam and a lot of them were congratulations, you won an iPhone 11. And it was just like all these other things where it was people just saying hi or saying awesome. And I was like, that's not asking me a question that's not really helpful, but thanks, I guess. So let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried that and like with the weird answers you've gotten. I just thought it was really funny and just something, I don't know, I had never really thought about before. But yeah, I hope that you learned a little bit more about me. And if you have any extra questions, please do leave them in the comments down below. I would absolutely love to answer them. Sorry, I hit the thing. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you are notified of every time that I post on Mondays and Thursdays. That is all I have for this video and I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> what, 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 what?